This cat was to, uh, dissected to demonstrate the reproductive system of the female cat. So we're looking at a female cat here. Uh, what we'd observe first, trying to find my forceps, here it is. Okay, uh, we're gonna start all the way up by the ovaries over here. I'm gonna cover the main structures first, but that little sesame seed-like organ way up here, that's the right ovary. All the way on the other side, uh, that's the left ovary. The major uh, uh, channel or tube that goes to that, the left uterine horn on this side, and on this side, the right uterine horn. The uterine horn, next major structure that it goes to is the uterine body. Get my fat hands out of your way, sorry about that. Uh, uterine body, uh, that leads uh, to the uter uh, the vagina. There's the vagina. There's a little swelling right there. It's hard to see, but uh, you can actually feel it more than you can see it. And, and that's the cervix in the cat. After the cervix, then that's the vagina. The next structure you want to be able to identify is this urinary bladder. That's important because the urinary bladder has coming off of it, the urethra. And what you notice now in the cat, the female cat, the urethra joins the vagina. And after the urethra joins, this defines this section right here, and that is the urogenital sinus. Uh, here is the opening of the vagina. If I pull this up this way, you can see the opening of the vagina, and you can see that leads to the inside of the urogenital sinus. Going backwards again, there's the vagina. Uh, why is this vagina here? Because it's after where the urethra joins. The little swollen area right there is the cervix, uterine body, right uterine horn, right ovary, left uterine horn, left ovary. Take note now that there's a huge broad ligament that's attached to the uterine horns here and the uterine body. Uh, that is the broad ligament of the uterus in the cat. And on this side, broad ligament of the uterus on this side. Uh, the next thing is the tiny little structures. Uh, I don't tend to ask them on the practicals, but other professors might. Uh, there's the fimbriae. So yes, cats do have the fimbriae like the female and the human does. And then you can barely see it on this side, uh, that little tiny tube that's going to the uterine horn on that side. That's the fallopian tube or the uterine tube, as some people like to call it. And on this side, there's the ovary and there's the fallopian tube on the right side. And that's what leads to the uterine horns. Uh, cats have uterine horns because that allows them to give birth to uh, many uh, cats at one time, either three, four, or even uh, five or six of them at one time. Uh, they will be found inside the uterine horns. So they do have the fimbriae and fallopian tubes, uh, but uh, there's those structures. Uh, that you need to be able to identify in the female cat. I'm not gonna leave this cat right now because it's got some uh, nice veins to look at here. So way up here uh, off of the inferior vena cava, that's inferior vena cava, that's the left adrenal lumbar. The right one's up there, but I'm not gonna bother to try to show you on the camera because it's so far uh, superior. It's under the liver there. Uh, so that's why we can't see it on that, partic on that side. Uh, but there's the renal. So this is the left renal. Here's the right renal. They go to the kidneys, that's why they're renal. Uh, and what I want you to take note of now, look at that huge vein going into the left renal. And what is it going to? This identifies for you what the name of this vein is. Uh, yeah, it would be genital is what you would suspect, uh, uh, suspect at this point, uh, but it's not just genital because we know this is a female cat, so it's ovarian. That is the left ovarian. On the right side, the ovarian does not come off uh, the renal, it comes off of the, or actually goes into, right? Everything's reversed when we talk about veins. Uh, and there's the right uh, ovarian. There's the right ovarian. Down here, uh, iliolumbars are next, right? Iliolumbar, left iliolumbar. That one's broken, but you can see where it was. Then you got what? Common iliacs. Uh, so here's the right common iliac, left common iliac. On this side, you could see it, it was broken. That's, this was not meant to be a vein cap, but they show up so well here, I can't ignore them. <clears throat> But there is the broken uh, internal iliac. Uh, that defines for you next uh, what the common iliac changes its name to what? The external iliac, and this is on the left side. Left common iliac, left internal iliac, and so now this is left external iliac. That's to the right side. Right common iliac, we need to find the internal iliac on the right side. Notice how much further down it is, way down there. And so there's the right internal iliac right there. And so now there is your external iliac on the right side. Here's your deep femoral on the right side. Here's your deep femoral 
on the left side it's broken, but there, there's where it was. And now you got the femoral down here. Let's move this a little bit more in the picture. And then what do you got here? Superior, uh, superior, saphenous, superior geniculate, and down deep, popliteal. So everything after the external iliacs is exactly the same as the arteries. Uh, all right, left external iliac, left femoral, left saphenous, left superior geniculate, and left popliteal. Our uh, right side didn't show up too well, so we're not gonna do the right side on those. Uh, and there's your female reproductive system of the cat and the lower veins of the cat.